Nobody was watching. Now, even fewer will. <laughs> That's possible. Yep, the network from Al Gore is no more, as Al Jazeera, whoever he is, has bought and shuttered the lowly rated current TV. It's about jam, I believe. The Arab News thing plans to start an English language channel with newscasts from both New York and Doha, Qatar. I think they should call it Eric Qatar. <laughs> <laughs> Used that joke earlier. Ten years ago, Al Jazeera was known to Americans for broadcasting tapes from Al-Qaeda. Now it's trying to compete directly with its sister station, MSNBC. And fun sidebar, according to the New York Times, Gore urged his partners at Current TV to sell to Al Jazeera by December 31st to avoid higher tax rates taking effect on January 1st. Not only that, but Glenn Beck reportedly tried to buy the network last year, but was told that they wouldn't sell to someone who wasn't aligned with their point of view, i.e. not bad <laughs> crazy. For more, let's go live to Red Eye's media correspondent, Goat, who thinks he's a chicken. <laughs> that would be an adorable, sexy pet. <laughs> Remy, you are Iranian. I know that. You've denied it, but I know you are Iranian. I've never denied they that. They usually say Persian. They don't like it. Yeah, they don't like it. Yeah, well, my parents are. Like Your parents are Persian. not a rug. Yeah. Yes. Um, I'm Siamese. <laughs> <laughs> um, and a little drunk. Is this a good thing? <laughs> is this a good thing? Because Al Jazeera is popular in Iran, right? Well, I've never been to Iran, and I I assume it is popular in the in most of the Middle East. Yeah. I think the, in, the 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 interesting thing is the combination with Al Gore and Al Jazeera. I mean, and that's what's so shocking. Al -Al. <laughs> the the problem is nobody's. I don't know if it's a problem or it's a fortunate thing. Nobody's watching either network yes. in the U.S. Mm. I'd never really heard of current TV. Yeah, how do you double zero? Yeah. I mean, what is it that they're <laughs> hoping to accomplish? I mean, there is a certain shock and, you know. But you know what? They are also buying the supreme talents of Senk Iger. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> if they can l establish themselves as a legitimate, mm. credible news source, then, you know, good luck trying to compete with Fox News and the other major networks. Thank you for that. Um, I don't, yeah, well, I don't yeah, think wow, we're going to have that. That was really well yeah. taken. Uh, Baker, on yeah. a scale of one to Al Qaeda, how fair and balanced is Al Jazeera anyway? Are we giving them too hard a time? Haven't they? Haven't they like grown? Oh, they've grown. Yeah, they've grown. No, you know, and actually, they do have a lot of viewers in the states. Yeah. Which is one of the reasons why they wanted to do this deal because they're trying to, you know, they're trying to figure out a way to grow. They needed another outlet. Uh, but I, I I don't watch them, and I, I think frankly um, they are better uh, than they were say five six seven yeah. years ago. But um, they've still got perception problems. So I think this is I think the best part of this story is not so much what Al Jazeera is doing because honestly you know I really don't care, and I certainly don't care what Current TV is doing. The best part of the story is, is Al Gore trying to maximize his, his tax structure in this sale. Because he, he could make about $100 million, but the douche is just doing exactly what he rails against in a right. self-righteous manner. He, he wants to you know, get it done before 2013. I mean, he, it's completed, is it? No. I believe no, it he is. Missed no, it. he missed the deadline. Well, he missed it. Right. Yeah. Well, although, although, but the filing is, is, is oftentimes what, what's important in terms oh, of they, they don't right. need to necessarily right. complete yeah. the sale. There can be filing that goes on prior to that deadline that might... But on a hundred million yeah, well, no, dollar, Roger. well, a bloody uh, well, you, Jimmy. No, I mean, the, the, I, that's what I'm saying. I, I think the big yeah. joke here is that Al Jazeera is paying a half a billion dollars. I mean, how much would they pay for your bottle of whiskey? A hundred million. That was actually <laughs> thirty-five bucks. That was thirty-five bucks. Right, it's a New York bourbon. It's bloody expensive. I, I poured iced tea in it. <laughs> no, you did. How is that reason. iced tea? Why don't you, can you try some more of it? Yeah, right. that it's fake actually, stuff really packs a wallop. It's quite spicy. <laughs> It's a spicy tea. It's got a bit of a it is iced tea. <laughs> yeah, that's disgusting. I know. Is it? Yeah, it's see, an iced tea. Here's the thing about. <laughs> Let uh, me see you have that iced tea, Jimmy. Do you see this as a punishment? <laughs> <laughs> I just want to make sure you I have that iced. Oh no! This is like oh, oh, a Scotsman yeah. in view alcohol. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, no, it's, you claim it's ice tea. Oh iced boy! Tea. Uh, <laughs> All right. Uh, it's Mike's drinking water after yeah. his iced tea. Well, you always got to have a chaser with your iced tea. Uh, Bill, no, Bill, no, it's iced tea. <laughs> I, I think this fake stuff uh, really hits hard, huh? Bill, can we get back to Brass Yeah, please? can we get back Are to Are you going to skip me and go to Bill? What? 
Of course. No, don't make a point. Make a point. So Al is a quintessential hypocrite, right? Yeah. He's got all this stuff about the green, go green. He's yeah. on his jet mm. plane. He's got his air conditioning, spending the money of an aristocrat. Yeah. And then what does he do when Obama threatens to raise the taxes? He tries to close the deal in before that happens. And so the guy is pro big government, he's pro regulation, unless, of course, he stands to make any kind of money. And then it's all that is a perfect definition of a politician. Oh, yeah, it is. It, 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 a leftist could be rich, but you can't. That's it. Right. Well, look at George Soros. I mean, yeah. I mean that, that, he's, he's probably the best example of that. I've got my money now. I'm going to tell you how you can and can't make yours mm -hmm. and what you should do with it. That was an uncanny George Soros. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Wow, you yeah. can really hear the. Yeah, the ice tea helps. You know. you know what else? You know what else is crucial about this? What? They, the liberals love to scoff at Fox and and Glenn Beck and Rush Limbaugh, and when they try to do it themselves, like Air America, they need to set up these. Like, you don't know what went on with Air America. Mm. I know these people. Yeah. I see my son fraternizing with these comedian types. <laughs> that was a disgusting pyramid scheme of lies. What? How so? Oh, it was all as well. We told this investor we're going to do this, and yeah. then we got another week, and it was all. It sounded like Bernie Bloody Madoff, <laughs> and of course it crashed. Then Current comes up with this crap about let teens do the news, <laughs> and that folds in on itself. They've got to sell it to bloody Arabs. <laughs> And every time uh, they scoff at capitalism, but when they try to do it themselves, they fall flat in their face because they're out of touch. Yeah. They don't know what the average American thinks. Mm -hmm. See, I was confused because when he was talking about Air America, I thought he meant the airline. Was and I was thinking that was nothing Ponzi about that. That was, that was a go get them you know, accomplish the deed job. Yep. No, right he was there. talking about Air America. Yeah, I, I just, <laughs> yeah, yeah. I just like yeah. hearing what Kilty oh, McHaggis yeah. over here thinks about average Americans. I'm real. <laughs> That's I'm actually real. a wee bit uh, racist. <laughs> 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 All right, we've run this one into the ground.